Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. A bit quiet uh, on that front the last couple of days. Normally I post at least a video every two days. Um, most of the time every day one, but yeah, uh, some stuff is going on here and there. Um, I still have uh, a couple of videos uh, about here, for instance uh, in the RMD on patrol series where we uh, do a road trip uh, in police cars. I have recorded all of them already a couple of weeks ago, but with all things going on, uh, yeah, I have been posting some uh, Need for Speed payback as well, so yeah, kind of have to mix it up. Uh, those videos will come in the next couple of days and weeks, uh, so that we have all the police cars uh, seen on a road trip. Uh, what else do we have here? A couple of daily crates, which is something that I threw in uh, to keep uh, going a little bit. Um, basically means you take a car and all of its packs and we do some crate missions. Uh, I still have the buggy and the Cadillac Escalade, and then I still have to do the rest of the uh, about 100 cars we have in the crew one. Um, other than that, yeah, Euro Truck, I have video there going on, but uh, that's about it, uh, I think. But yeah, there are also um, uh, in Need for Speed Payback over here, um, there is an upgrade there, which should give better parts from the uh, tokens and from the missions itself, so that you can upgrade your cars faster. I quickly tested it last night, uh, I'm not so sure about it. Um, I was still have level 18 parts on the car and I was still getting level 17 parts on it from the tokens or from the missions. Um, you have a level 18 with a single bonus on it and you win another brand level 18 with single bonus on it. So um, yeah, I would uh, go into it a bit deeper maybe in a video because it might be that I was just unlucky uh, with the cards, but that uh, we will see about that. Meanwhile, there is also something else going on. Um, in October, we played, uh, well, let's call it a B1. Um, for a couple of days, four or five days, we played that, and then it has been a bit quiet on that front. Last weekend, we could uh, pre-download B2, and uh, have been playing that for a couple of days. And uh, apparently, they are also um, within that game that we are playing there, uh, want to test the patch, how it works uh, to put patches in there. So we're actually going to go uh, from B2 to B3 and that means that uh, the, the next couple of days we will be playing that as well. But meanwhile, uh, also in the crew there is something going on uh, in that way. There is a summit apparently. <laughs> Let's have a look. Oh, 15th I managed to do and I only played one day here. So that's not even that bad. 15th overall. I uh, I played, I was 6th overall on the, on the uh, I think it was the second day that I quickly done all my events, get a platinum medal in all the events. And uh, that was good enough for 6th overall. Meanwhile, a few 1500, 2000 players more joined the rankings. And now I'm uh, I'm good for 15th. But yeah, doesn't matter, I'm not uh, playing here, I'm playing in other games at the moment. Which also means you will not get much footage from this summit. Uh, might throw in a brand at time attack while we are here now. Uh, the jump is the main skill out of these three. Uh, that means that it will count for the most, it always usually is, uh, the left of these three skill tests on your screen. In this case, it's the jump. I'm 43 there with a score of uh, 28,000. Uh, meanwhile, people are doing uh, 45,300. Why not? Uh, what's going on there? Pff, yeah, it's, it's somewhere in the area of Chicago. You come from the bridge, you jump to a dirt road where the, um, where the jump is, and that's already a problem. Because half the time you, uh, if you use the drag car, you go too fast, you fly over the starting gate. So <laughs> you're not even uh, able to start the uh, stupid jump thing. But it, I do say stupid because jump, yeah. Either you have to hit something, you have to bounce off a tree, you have to bounce off a post, or uh, it's something with a bike or some kind of trick where you have to push each other and that, yeah. Something is like this is going on now as well. People are slipstreaming, they are pushing each other in the air and they are pushing each other to uh, 40, 45,000, whatever. I'm assuming there might also be some cheaters in, in as well with some sort of uh, speed or fly hack. That's always the case in a jump. Wouldn't surprise me. Precision and race line, both of them are sort of in the same area in the uh, canyons, in the mountain states, if I'm not mistaken. And uh, it's dirt. Dirt roads and... Uh, Last time I checked, most people were using the Ducati Monster in dirt spec. Um, but I remember from last time that in case you cannot handle that bike, the Lotus Exis is also a uh, possibility. It has to be dirt, rate uh, specs are too slow, Monster specs are also too slow in this case. So uh, you have to go for a dirt spec and then you're going to end up with, uh, yeah, 
if you can handle the rough, but that's probably not going to be the case. That slides all over the place, and that's a bit tricky on a race line or a precision skill test. The Lotus Exige is an option. If not, use the Ducati Monster. Uh, with slip trim, it's probably going to be the best. Either way, you use it. It's a bit of sliding with the Exige, but you can get some decent scores. Uh, what do I have here? 16,000. That was not even... I just had a score there. So, um, where uh, the more uh, convenient scores are 17, 18, 19, 20,000 even. Uh, so, that's what you will get there. In race line you can score somewhere between 6,000 and 7,000 I guess. Let's see. 7,140. Yeah, why not? Uh, 6,900 second place and it goes to... yeah. I have 6,000 and I'm 23rd. But you can score more than 6,000 for sure. Also there I just set a score. Didn't bother too much about it. In Monster Arena apparently we do have a new cheater again. His name is Vavanisi E. Or uh, Vavanice. Whatever you want to uh, pronounce that. I have no idea. 194,000. Get rid of him, Ubisoft. Wake up. It's always the same the last couple of weeks. They're busy with, uh, probably with the crew too or something, but that's all fine. But at least keep uh, an eye on the leaderboards here. I mean, this is a pretty obvious cheater score. Um, what else do we have? Drift trial. Uh, apparently, there are people are doing circles there. Five, six hundred thousand. Uh, 962,000 for our guy Vavanice or Vavanice. Again, how obvious can it be? Ubisoft, get rid of him. Um, what else do we have? Uh, drag trial, yeah, as always. That has to do with connection and FPS and all kind of that shit. Uh, people are doing 20.2 uh, here in the... But yeah, the top 10, top 15 is aware of that FPS uh, situation. And uh, the rest are playing around with 8 times MSA, anti-aliancing, um, uploading, downloading while they are doing the drag, which also gives some sort of flag. And then you can also go faster, uh, <laughs> yeah. It is what it is. That's drag for you. Manual clutch. Uh, the, the clutch bug is fixed, but uh, manual clutch is still faster than automatic clutch. But you have to play around with it a little bit uh, on the salt flats or whatever to uh, practice that because uh, it's not as easy as it sounds. You actually have to uh, throttle and then quickly, especially in drag, you have to uh, clutch shift, clutch shift, clutch shift really fast and uh, to get the faster times. So half the time you're going to miss a gear if you're not familiar with it. So you have to practice it. And then you can get times like, uh, I did 21.0, but that was uh, only uh, with one uh, person and we were not even slipstreaming, so uh, we just set score there. You can definitely do 20.6 or something, 25, 24 in that area. I can get top 10. Uh, yeah. Speed trap, uh, yeah, also there, nothing special. It is all about hurricane. And if you cannot handle the hurricane on the Chicago track where you have to get top speed on every single camera, uh, yeah, then you're probably gonna end up with the ninja and that's why you see uh, people scoring 450 and 494 averages uh, 494 498 will probably be using the ninja and the guys uh, scoring a high 449 or a high four or a low 450 those are using the hurricane slip streaming each other it can get 450 451 452 and then you get an average of 450.3 450.2 450.1 that's sort the top five six seven that uh, have that score and the rest has 449, 448. Everybody's scoring high because yeah, it's a familiar track and people know you can use the Hurricane. If not the Ninja, you can always score on all the cameras the top speed. It's a bit of a boring track in that way. Uh, so the drag, the drift, the rip, and then we have two time attacks. Two annoying tracks uh, in the rate. Oh, let's have a look here, why not? Um, what did I use there? I don't know. I have a time of 153, but it can go under 150 for sure. Uh, especially if you do this with a team. Uh, I did a run with the Mustang. Eventually, I did a run with the... Um, what is that? The 1996 Camaro. It all works, I think. Probably uh, the Touareg, the Mini Counter might also work. Uh, the Rough. Uh, the little one there. Uh, what's it called again? Yeah. Completely with all these games completely messing up all the cars. Uh, it's not the RT, but it's the other one. The 3400K, that's what I was looking for. This is a familiar track. I use four green, and the reason for that is probably because I'm in manual. Uh, the reason I'm in manual was for the brand time attack, but yeah, I decided to do a run first in, the, uh, in this one. Oh 
the annoying void here. If you hit that little uh, ro robot or whatever it's called, cano or whatever it is, canoe probably in English. <laughs> we say cano in Dutch. Uh. But it's a bit of an annoying track. It's sliding all over the place. You have all these trees. You have things where you have to cut here and there, like here, next to the uh, chest goes straight here. And all that uh, with the team with some slipstream, especially on the uh, on the part that is uh, coming up now. After this corner here, you have a long straight. If you can get a team around here, you can get up to uh, 300 kilometers an hour in slipstream. Just showing the track uh, and more or less uh, going over the cars which you can use, but it's probably going to be Mustang or Camaro or whatever. Maybe even Silverado might work, I don't know. And if you mess about a bit, yeah, then you do 155, 154, 153. With some slipstream, a bit more clean driving, you can go under 150 for sure. And if you really spend time on it, you can probably go uh, around 45. Uh, what is the top time here? 42 even. 45, uh, that's like the French list that I'm going over now, but yeah, most of them are like uh, the top players, so uh, 47, 48, those are the times that uh, we sort of see here. On this pretty annoying track with all kind of three roots and stuff sticking out all over the place that you can hit or get stuck. Maybe you can even hit the crocodile, who knows. Even more annoying is the brand time attack. They give you a Silverado in circuit spec, that's yeah. That's already like a wall riding car as it is, and then they come up with this ice track. None of the circuit specs in this game has four wheel drive, although in real life they have, might be uh, probably like a scala or something, but uh, not on this, uh, in not in this game. Circuit specs have two wheel drive, so it's a bit of a problem. That's why you need manual here. You put this thing in fifth gear, and other than that, hope that you don't have traffic in your line and uh, hit some barriers. Keep the throttle on. Here or there, you might have to go back to fourth gear, but uh, here also, if you don't get stuck on this barrier, which very often happens, you actually need to get a bounce here, and that's why I took the inside uh, of the of that corner there. You can just stay on the road and go for the barrier, but then you you kind of got stuck on the barrier, and you can't get away from it till you're completely out of the corner. If you take the inside of that barrier there uh, and on the first bit, then you, you might be able to uh, get a bounce on the on the second barrier there, and then you can get away from that barrier where on which you kind of lose all speed and get stuck a bit. But yeah, we'll see. Up here we are, bus again. Have to go out behind it because, or you can use the bus as a wall ride device. That also might help. But it's sliding, it's wheel spinning. That's already a problem. Yeah, it's gonna get stuck again. Of, of course. Of course, Dave. That's what happens if you wake up too early. It's 2.30 in the afternoon, but yeah, I'm a night person, so for me it's still early. Let's give it one more go, but yeah, it's an annoying track, that's for sure. Normally, uh... If you have some decent cars around here, you can go left here behind the checkpoint, you can go up the hill and then uh, reset on top of that hill, just on the other checkpoint there. It will put you in front of it and you can just move on, but that's not possible with this thing, because it does not go up the hill. Yeah, still not perfect, I'm still stuck on that barrier here. Also on this corner, take the inside, it's faster than uh, going over the road. Yeah. And other than that, keep it in fifth and try it to avoid as much wheel spin as possible, although it's <laughs> you can hear it, hey, it's wheel spinning like crazy, which means we are losing time. You can put down the throttle uh, linearity, maybe. Yep. Keep it green. This might be a corner where you have to go to Ford because the barrier, as you can see here, is not here, which means you can fly out there. There's a gap there. That's gonna cost us our green, definitely. 
<laughs> Two seconds rest, why not? Okay, you get the idea. It's an annoying track with an annoying car that should not be uh, driving around here. Also here, always that little car or something that is in that corner. You sort of have to slide through this corner and if there's a car on the inside you have a problem. That's shown here. I don't know, a summit is 10 days. You should be able to have 10 days of fun and they are putting the most annoying tracks in the last couple of summits every time. Qualifiers is not much better but at least yeah, it's something some uh, occasionally but I remember the uh, Ferrari F40 track last year somewhere in the canyons. It was a team time attack I think but that was a pretty good track. Not too much fuss about shortcuts or reset or cuts or something like that. I'm just gonna go around because I already see a car there that's gonna cause a problem if we take the inside. But yeah, you can see I get stuck here on that barrier. What also would be good like to close uh, the crew 1 moving on to the crew 2 that they would actually come up with the first time attack they ever did which was uh, a time attack created by the community and it was actually it was like a 12 minute track or something but they never brought that back they have to go again stupid car in our way here I go back to 4 because otherwise you're gonna fly into the trees more, more often than not Also here, so in the way. You have to cut that corner in no, no matter what, but the car was still in the way. Yeah, here again. Oh my. Yeah, I didn't need that bounce, thank you. Here you can go to six maybe, if everything goes right, but I doubt it. it will be a car again. Then go back to fifth here to get a few more bounces. That was a good one. Kind of. Yeah, then the other part. Next one. It's always something. 48. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I already have 50.0 here, sliding about somewhere. But you can definitely go under 50 here as well, especially if you show up with a team, get some slips in here or there. Not sure what times here are, but probably Heckel and Jekyll will do around 40 or something. 45 I see there and uh, the other one has 44 so yeah 44 and 45 for Heckle and Jekyll and then uh, the rest with 46, 47, 48 and so on that's what the situation is in this kinda annoying summit the main skill test is a jump and the two time attacks are uh, yeah not much to talk around a bit and the speed trap also not much make of a difference because everybody's using the hurricane everybody's using the ninja everybody's doing around 450 so it's not really uh, yeah it's too close to uh, make a difference. The battle that is going on there, everybody scores 450. If you put a team in it, and if you put effort in it. But most of us are playing uh, B2 and B3, as I said. That will be it for this summit, footage-wise from me. Uh, I might do another video on payback upgrade, uh, update and have a look there. To see if we actually get better parts from the uh, tokens. I did a quick test last night, but uh, was still the same as before, in my opinion. But we'll see. We'll see you guys in the next one, and bye for now.